Hi guys, how are you? So I'm gonna go into Hy-Vee today and get some groceries and I thought it would be fun to do like an in-store shop with me again. I posted a Walmart video like this, uh, I think it was last week. I don't know when you're gonna be watching this, but it was a while ago. <laughs> I posted like an in-store Walmart shop with me and you guys really seem to like it. Um, I always think it's interesting too to see other people's grocery stores and what they look like inside and what the prices are like. So I'm gonna take you inside Hy-Vee with me. Um, I don't have like a very established list <laughs> this week unfortunately I do have some things that I definitely need to get but kind of one of those trips where I'm just gonna see what you know sparks my imagination for dinners this week and then hopefully I can share a meal plan with you when I get home also. So today we are going inside Hy-Vee to grab some groceries. If you guys aren't familiar with Hy-Vee, they're mostly a uh, Midwest based grocery chain um, and they tend to have a little bit higher prices than Walmart, but it's also like a better shopping experience. I guess I would kind of compare it to like a Publix. These are so pretty. Fun fact, I had sunflowers at my wedding. I think I'm gonna get a bouquet of these. They look really Ooh, I like the ones with the purple in them. I want to get some salad mix, maybe some romaine. This is on sale for $2.88. Oh, this is American iceberg and romaine. I have, I think I have iceberg at home. Maybe I'll just do this one. Romaine and red cabbage. Okay, have you guys tried this? Honey barbecue ranch. That looks like really good to dip chicken in it. Might try that. Outdates on August 5th. So I think I am gonna get some of this green leaf lettuce because I have some rice paper at home and I wanna make some spring rolls and this is already washed so that'll be convenient for dinner tonight. I'm gonna get a pineapple to cut out. Strawberries are $7.99, which is actually only a dollar more than they are at Walmart and Costco. I'm gonna get a package of these. I also got some um, spray butter, and I know it's margarine, whatever. It's for corn on the cob. If you're anything like me, you spend hundreds of hours each year at the grocery store, and so life is already complicated enough. But what if getting term life insurance to protect your family could be easy? Fabric has moved life insurance all on Online, so getting a policy that's right for your family isn't complicated at all. In fact, planning for your family's future has never been easier. Thank you to Fabric for sponsoring today's video. Fabric was built by parents for parents to help make it easier to manage your family's finances. You can apply online in less than 10 minutes, see your quote, and then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric has significant savings over other providers with with great quality policies like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. And they also have over 1,600 five-star reviews on trustpilot.com. It's fully backed by Vantis Life, one of the most trusted names in life insurance since 1847. So you can feel confident that you're getting a high quality policy that is perfect for your family. Fabric also has a 30-day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. I definitely think that life insurance is one of those things that we don't necessarily like to think about, but it is definitely something that is a necessity. Um, Adam and I both believe it's very important for each of us to have life insurance policies so that we can continue to provide for our family if anything ever happens to us. And some of you guys uh, might remember that my mom unexpectedly passed away last winter uh, from COVID, and we were so glad that she also had life insurance because it made um, planning everything so much easier and really took um, a lot a lot of stress off of me and my sister. So if you want to protect your family's financial future, do that with Fabric. You can apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash Jen. That's meetfabric.com slash Jen, M-E-E-T fabric.com slash Jen. Fabric insurance agency policies are issued by Vantis Life, not available in New York and Montana. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. Once again, I'll have a link in the description box below, so make sure you check that out at meatfabric.com slash Jen. And my kids have been eating the crap out of these Halo oranges. So I'm gonna grab another bag. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta be careful with these because like sometimes they'll be like squishy and they'll start to turn moldy pretty fast. So I don't know. I just try to choose one that's a little bit firm. I am gonna get a watermelon because they are really good right now. You wanna find one 
with a yellow uh, spot on it. That means it's been sitting on the ground in the sun ripening for a while. Okay, I grabbed some grapes. I try to just see which ones are the best in terms of like firm grapes. I don't want like mushy grapes. And then I also grabbed some bananas and some tomatoes on the vine for sandwiches. Okay, so I know I can shred carrots myself, but I am gonna be making some spring rolls. So I want just for convenience sake to have some of these on hand. Okay, I'm gonna get some celery. Connor likes to eat it raw and then also it's good in tuna salad. And then I also got some baby bok choy. Um, I made a really good like Asian salad with cucumber and bok choy last week and I want to try to do that again. Have you guys tried these Panera bowls before? I keep seeing them here but I've never tried them. There's a lemon chicken, primavera, and then a Tuscan style chicken. I don't know, they're right by like where they keep the Panera soups and mac and cheese. Okay, so I also got some fresh herbs. I got some rosemary. This is for um, Italian beef and some basil for caprese and spring rolls and some mint for spring rolls. Okay, so I don't know if we've tried this brand of pepperoni roll-ups before, but the ones I normally get at Walmart, they don't have here, so I'm gonna try these. And then I need some feta cheese. Also got some deli meat for sandwiches, a pound of ham and a pound of turkey. Adam likes this mustard potato salad from Hy-Vee, so I'm gonna grab some while I'm here. So I haven't bought these in a while, but these are really great to make um, like thin crust pizzas on, just like for a quick lunch or something. Thing. They're the flat out thin pizza crust. Okay, so what's your opinion on the Hydro Flask? Like, are they really great? Super great? I've been thinking about getting one for travel. I just don't, I don't know. They're so expensive, like $33 for this. Better last me my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so here at my Hy-Vee, they have this like, I don't know what you would call it, like this little stand here that has all of these like spreads and pickles and I don't know, just like stuff for charcuterie boards kind of and sandwiches and I always like to look on it and see what they have. But I was gonna show you guys if you can ever find these Terrapin Ridge Farms um, squeeze aiolis, they are really good. So I've never tried this one, the Harissa one. Um, they have coconut curry, they have a pesto, Sriracha horseradish. I've never had that one before. I might try the buffalo ranch one. That one sounds good. And then they have um, an everything aioli. It's like, I mean, basically like everything but the bagel seasoning. I have some at home. It's really, really good on sandwiches, but it looks like they don't have any right now. Okay, have you guys seen these? They are Betty Crocker potato scrambles kit. There's one that's Southwest style queso and ham and cheddar. This one, you just add ham and egg. Hmm. Might try that. These are also new. I can't remember where I saw these. I bought it or something. It's basically like a sheet pan dinner. Um, and then you add like your own protein and veggies. God, who remembers this from their childhood? Did anyone else eat this spaghetti in a box? I did. We did like a lot. I feel like this was like the, the classic struggle meal of the 1990s. Okay, so I'm looking for chili garlic paste. Oh, I just saw it. I was like, I don't think it's here. But yeah, well, this is ground fresh chili paste. Actually, this might be what I need for the recipe I'm thinking of. But what I was thinking of is that chili garlic comes in like a bigger container than this. It's really really good in ramen. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of the squeezable light mayo. I like to have like squeezable mayo in the fridge because it's so much easier to make sandwiches with. And then I also got some of this peppered uh, gravy mix because apparently Adam likes this better than the one I make homemade. la -di da and ranch mix. Okay, Kira needs some more of her spinach tortillas. This time I'm gonna get the Dream Wellness spinach and herb. These are only 50 calories, just FYI if you, in case you wanted to know. All right, we need some bread. Actually, I think I'm gonna get this this time this farmhouse butter bread that'd be good for um tuna sandwiches okay so i am gonna get like some complete pancake mix um i just need to figure out what kind i want to get I was, I was looking at these little packages connor asked me like this morning he's like i have some pancakes and i'm like well i don't really want to make a whole batch you know and so i thought if i just got like a mix i could make some every morning just a little bit okay so i'm just gonna get this um kodiak cakes i don't know i've never tried these before so we'll get that and then i also got some applesauce and what else oh some pineapple tidbits all right i'm gonna get some of this uh butter popcorn seasoning because i have like some popcorn kernels i want to use the sound sounds different it's because i switched over to my cell phone because my camera battery died okay so let's see 
Coke is buy two get one free. So actually, I think Cherry Coke Zero I think is my favorite soda. So many places don't have it. So I'm gonna get one of these and then probably a Sprite Zero and oh, they have lemonade too. Let me get some of that. I don't think we've tried that before. Okay, so I need some true, Kira wants true lemon. I think I'm gonna get one lemon and one lime. She's been using this like in her water like several times a day, so we've been going through it really fast, but we still have some um, like regular, like meal water flavor. I was, I was gonna see if they had like some, oh, maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll get some like regular lemonade so I can make a picture, a pitcher? picture, I can't speak, a pitcher of it, I don't know. Let me think. All right, I think I'm gonna get some of these wheat thins, probably for Kira. And she likes these turkey and white cheddar ones also. All right, I need some eggs. Eggs are one bajillion dollars a pound now. Not a pound, a dozen. I'm just kidding. I think there's an I bought a rebate on these and what's best, so that's why I'm getting those. But 450, it's kind of crazy. Which even just for comparison's sake, like even the regular eggs are one dozen for four eighty-nine. I guess the medium ones are three eighteen. But yeah, they've really gone up in price. I remember I used to be able to get eggs at Aldi for eighty-eight cents uh, per dozen. I need some buttermilk for a couple of recipes I'm gonna make. I really like this vanilla yogurt. Oh, that's out of date, so I don't want that. July twelfth. That's almost a week out of date. That's weird. Ivy normally doesn't keep like, stuff on the shelf like that for that long so now fairway you gotta watch out because they will keep outdated items on the shelves for a long time okay now have you tried this chobani zero sugar it does not taste like anything to me it tastes like plastic i don't care for it all right definitely gotta get my favorite cottage cheese i also got some biscuits for the um gravy packet that i got i need some um, plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I wonder if I can find, well that's vanilla. Oh, here we go. Greek yogurt, non-fat plain, low-fat Greek yogurt, fat plain. I want to make some of that two-ingredient pizza dough. So what's interesting is these four packs are um, $3.50 each. Yeah, so that's like significantly cheaper than buying it by the single one. Because they're $1.49. This one doesn't expire until August 26th, so I'm gonna get this. So my kids have been like <laughs> addicted to sugar-free Jello this summer. Why? But whatever. So I'm gonna get them some of that. All right, I'm gonna get some of this uh, two percent milk sharp cheddar cheese. All right, we need some pepperoni, and then I'm just gonna get turkey pepperoni this time. How much is this? Five ounces. Oh, the high V you get more. For the same price. Okay, I'm gonna get some Cool Whip. Sugar free. Sugar free Cool Whip. Oh, yeah, right here. Zero sugar. That's good. You put a little bit on the sugar free Jello. Um, okay, so have you guys seen these before? The Buffalo Chicken Tenders. They have um, blackened ones, which are really good too, but the Buffalo ones I think are good as well. Alright, so I'm gonna try these soup dumplings. I know that they have them at Trader Joe's and I've tried them there before and they're good. And then I got some of these chicken ones for Kira. All right, I need some foil. Foil, I can't, I thought I had some. Like I thought I bought some at Walmart last time I was there. Apparently I did not. Just do the old Reynolds wrap. Okay, so Connor's like, can you get some of those seasoned pretzels? And I think this is what he's talking about. So I'm gonna grab some of those. Of course I had to come back the other way to get blue cheese because I totally forgot. But do you guys like sprouts on your sandwiches? What's the date today? I might get some of these. I know Adam likes them on his sandwiches too. I just know they can get like moldy super fast. So I'm always kind of scared to buy them just because I know they can go bad so quickly. So like normally for blue cheese, I will tend to get like my own and crumble it. God, it's so expensive. I mean, they have the crumbled kind too. I just don't think it always tastes as good. I mean, this little portion is 10 bucks. It's nuts. Okay, so I just saw these. Of course, I'm going to get them. Kansas City Canning Company. Uh, they make some really good stuff. Our 
pickles so i'm gonna try all right so that is going to wrap up today's grocery haul thanks you guys for coming along with me i really enjoyed filming these in-store hauls and i will continue to do grocery hauls the traditional way as well but this has been fun so thanks again for watching don't forget to check out fabric i will have all of the information in the description box below and i will see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.